And just as I was talking about being petty again, Megan drops a lovely letter advocating for paid family leave. So we have to put petty away for a moment and talk about some important stuff. As usual, this is YouTube, where we are vastly outnumbered by hate accounts. If you enjoy this content, please engage with it by liking or leaving a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you really want to make my Wednesday or whatever day it is that you watch this. Doesn't matter, would still make it. All right, on to the video. So it will come as a shock to absolutely no one that the U.S. is pretty backwards when it comes to policies that protect workers. Despite a certain political party claiming to be family-focused, they have spent the last, um, I don't know, 50 years fighting any kind of paid leave. As Megan goes on to say in her letter, the federal government does not guarantee any person a single day of paid leave in the United States. Unlike almost every other country, the U.S. offers new parents nothing. On the flip side of that, if you have to take care of a loved one, let's say as they are dying, we offer you nothing. A comprehensive paid family leave program aims to change that. This is a personal topic for me as my husband and I talk about starting a family. I'm the primary breadwinner for us, and the thought of how we are going to make it work so I can take some time off after a baby is born is, to be honest, a stressful topic. Luckily, we live in Washington State, which I think is the only, if not one of the only, states to offer paid parental leave, but the process is disorganized and often funds take months to arrive. Again, stressful. I worked with a CNA who had to come back a week after giving birth because that's what her family could afford. Yes, FMLA protects her actual job, but that doesn't mean much if you aren't getting a paycheck. As Megan points out, these things need to change. I really like how inclusive the language is on this letter. Families come in all shapes and sizes. A parent is a parent. Recently, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, I think I said that right, came under fire because he's taken parental leave. Him and his husband welcome twins, only to be greeted with fire from the supposed family-first conservatives. I actually kind of disagree with Megan here. This is a right or left issue in that only part of our society deems the fact that we don't get any guaranteed paid leave as a problem at all. As Megan says in her letter, no family should have to choose between earning a living and having the freedom to take care of a loved one at a critical time. By allowing parents to take care of their children, free from at least some financial stress, we are actually taking care of the community. It really isn't rocket science to understand that the early years of life are important. While Megan argues for leave for anyone, she does point out that especially during the pandemic, many more women have been affected by having to leave work to care for children who no longer have school or daycare options. Women are still considered the caretakers of society, and we pay the price for that role in career growth and financial stability. Can I just also say that this letter is worded beautifully? Megan is a good writer. She has and knows her voice. In just a few paragraphs, she was able to outline why she feels the way she does, why this is an important issue. She brings up her own family history while acknowledging that she is now privileged in ways many are not. Megan knows just how many eyes will be on this subject because news outlets can attach her name to it. This is how it's done, or this is how it's supposed to be done. Megan uses her celebrity to get eyes on things that are important to her and her family subjects that she obviously has a passion for and at least a working knowledge of. By the time you hit the second paragraph, you know why she was forced out of the British royal family. Not because she had committed some atrocious crime, but because she's too good at their own game. I know I said I was saving the petty for tomorrow, but I couldn't help it. I'll see you then.